Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Welcome back from Fox News. This is freaking comical. It is. Cruz Cheney trade barbs over her best chance to win in 2024. A Democratic primary. Cheney visited New Hampshire last week where she continued criticizing Trump. They're talking about Liz Cheney running for president. Running for president. And getting the nomination of the Republican Party. You've got to be kidding me. You can't be serious. Of course, where did it come from? You guessed it, CNN. Let's read on. Senator Ted Cruz slammed the possibility of Representative Liz Cheney running. I'm sorry, I can't even read it without laughing. Running as a Republican candidate for... Sorry, let me, let me compose myself, okay? Get the Zen thing going here. Sparking the latest Twitter feud between the two. Is there a lane for Liz Cheney, New Hampshire, in 2024? The lead CNN, CNN tweeted Thursday, accompanied by a video clip of a panel discussion discussing Cheney perhaps running the next presidential cycle. Now, these people are flat earthers. Flat earthers. And their ratings are continuing to plummet. Their company, CNN is worth billions less than it was. I believe it's still up for sale by AT&T, which I believe still owns it as, as of the, today. And where do they come up with this stuff? The Cheney's office maybe leak? She's going to New Hampshire to maybe test the waters for her. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Your chance at 2024 is called the Democratic primary. I couldn't agree more. You know... I was a Democrat my whole life. I left the party in 2013. I should have left it years before when I was a local city councilman, but I didn't. I was talked out of it. I saw what they were doing in the early 2000s and the direction they were going in. It, even as negative as I was to the Democrat Party, I, I, couldn't even, I couldn't even make up how back crap crazy these people are. But they get problem with Republicans is people like Liz Cheney. She's like the poster child for this, and I'll tell you why. The Republicans really hadn't didn't have much to offer. You think the average working person who pays zero federal taxes? Well, let's tell the truth here. The bottom fifty one percent do not pay any net federal taxes. Period. So you think the Republican mantra is? We'll keep taxes low for business. It's, you know, it doesn't affect them personally. Yeah, they don't really, they don't get the connection between lower taxes creates jobs. They just know that they get more money than they put in. And so why would they vote Republican? They've had nothing to offer. And neocons like Liz Cheney, and warmongers, the neocons, the uniparty people, all they did was, oh, oh look how bad the Democrats are. Look how bad the Democrats are. Well, how good are you? Oh, we don't have to be good. It's ridiculous. She voted for both impeachments. She sat on the supposed committee in the January 6th insurrection. Okay? Her and Kiss, Kiss Kinzinger, who, by the way, Kinzinger will first reward for turning on his own people, the Republican Party. They districted him out. They lined him out in Illinois, so he had to step away. And the reason why they can't line Liz Cheney out is because the entire state of Wyoming is one congressional district. I mean, is she going to run in 2022? Well, we'll have to see. I'm not up in Wyoming politics, but I would think not. She is part of the problem. She is the reason why the Democrats have been just walking and railroading and just pummeling the Republicans for the last couple of decades at least. Saying nothing Oh, don't, don't, oh, no, no, don't. Look how, oh, no, you, you, you represent nothing. This is like some uh, intellectual egghead at some nonprofit 
institutions sitting around. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, you represent. I'm going to get me going. Cheney then responded to Cruz's tweet on Saturday, accusing him of appealing to the secessionist vote. I know you're posturing for the secessionist vote, Ted, but my party, the Republican Party, saved the union. You swore an oath to the Constitution. Act like it, Cheney said. That's right. Liz Cheney, that's right. You voted for impeachment twice when there was absolutely nothing there. Even Adam Schiff, that pencil neck piece of blank, admits that it was all not true. But yet you went along with it anyway because you don't like Donald Trump. He's not part of the old establishment Republicans, the ones that have been getting crapped on by the progressive Democrats for decades. Unbelievable. I consider anybody that voted for those impeachments, whether you like Donald Trump or not, it's misuse of the Constitution, period. It's unbelievable to me. Yeah, save the union. They're trying to save it again from these idiots on the left. Clueless, pampered, spoiled, rotten. Unbelievable. Who said last month Democrats finally destroyed the country? Secession would be an option for a state. Yeah. Uh, Liz Cheney is saying, well, Ted, we're all sitting in the house together in the same building, and now the building's on fire. So if you leave the building while it's on fire, shame on you. Oh, really? It's people like you that did nothing. Well, people like Obama and the progressives just slowly deteriorated the foundations and the culture of this country, and you said nothing. And not to make it even worse, now that you say nothing, you actually help them. If the Democrats end the filibuster, they will fundamentally destroy the country. If they pack the Supreme Court, if they make D.C. a state, they will federalize election. They may come to a point where it's hopeless, Cruz told a student at an event at Texas A&M. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a marriage. It's gotten so bad, there's absolutely no way we can stay married anymore. And it's a shame and it's sad. Cheney was one of 10 Republicans who voted to impeach former President Donald Trump on a charge of inciting the January 6th riot headed to New Hampshire last week. She continued vocalizing her criticism of former, of former Trump at an event which is seen as her perhaps testing the waters for a 2024 presidential run. My God, my God. These people are nuts. How clueless are they? They are so out of touch with the average American, it's incredible. Of course, it's a Cheney. I wasn't a big fan of the Vice President Cheney either, or Bush Jr. And I'm a Republican, and I say that. I thought he sucked back then. I thought the Patriot Act was one of the worst things that ever happened in this country, legislative-wise, period. We would put our duty to our oath above partisan politics, or we look away from the danger and the threat. Embrace the lies that enable the fear, Cheney said in an event. Embrace the lies. Everything in those impeachments was lies. Now, here's the funny part. There's a lot to criticize about Donald Trump. Are any of those impeachable offenses? No. You don't have to make up stuff. There's no gray area when it comes to that question, when it comes to this moment. There is no middle ground. Yeah, you're really standing up for the Constitution, you ass. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. These old neocons just don't get it. They just don't get it. You're right. The Republican Party did save the Union. The Republican Party ended slavery. The Republican Party was the party of non-white people for decades until it was hijacked by the Democrat Party beginning in the 1920s, but really around the Depression. And slowly over time, they just completely hoodwinked African Americans, Mexican Americans, Latinos in this country completely just took over the narrative. And people like you just stood by and said and did nothing. It was all lies. And now the inner cities now, even pre COVID, were just 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 ridiculously uh, high with crime. 60% dropout rate in high schools in the United States. And yet, 
you said nothing. You did nothing. You got your money. You got your money for your coffers for your reelection campaign in Wyoming. I mean, God, I mean, a Republican can win that. You don't have to campaign. You can spend less than that guy did in New Jersey, the Republican that won the Senate seat and still win. The old neocons. You're the problem. You're the problem of the Republican Party. Presidential run in 2024. Oh, my God, my God. Between being clueless and living in a bubble, your ego is so huge. And you criticize Donald Trump for that? A presidential run testing the waters? Good Lord. If somebody is this mentally delusional, maybe she's unfit to hold public office. Well, we'll find out in the midterms. I don't even know if she's announced she's going to run again. That'll be fun. What will probably happen is there'll be a, a three-way race. Even if she doesn't win the primary, she'll run as an independent, split the vote, and the Democrat will slip in. We'll see. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, maybe somebody can look it up. Wyoming picked up one more congressional seat. I'm not sure, but I know right now the state is the congressional seat. So you can't line her out. Oh, I'm sure there'll be primary opponents, and I hope it isn't one of those deals where it's like five or six primary opponents and it waters down the vote so badly she slips in. Because this will be one of the very few, it'll be the lowest turnout election for the midterms in Wyoming history if she's the Republican, that's for certain. Anyway, folks, stupid is as stupid does. Until the next time, goodbye and good luck. Mm -hmm.